guys, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> hope you guys are doing well today. I'm gonna do Roxy's weekly challenge. I um, mean, she's doing some pockets, uh, some different types of pockets, and I'm gonna use some book page, some William Morris paper, and I got one of my jelly prints I thought I would use. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, but before I do that, I want to show you what I've done. She got some bling on the front of her. I changed the closure. Um, I like that better, and it will move, you know, with the journal as I start um, adding stuff in there. And she's got two little dangles at the bottom. And I uh, glued these. It was like a stamp image that Miss Bernice sent me in Happy Mail, and I put that on there because it had blue and added a butterfly. And of course, I added some liquid pearls and pearl drops and some bling and then regular pearls on the front. Because, <coughs> you know, she's like me. She likes her bling. And I figured, you know, she would like that. And... Um, Plus, you know, with the embossing on it and then the, all the other things. So she's got a lot of textures and stuff going on. Onto the journal itself. Um, the only other thing that I have done is um, on the inside here I just glued that other piece of lace that was left. Um, because for some reason this kind of buckled a little bit as... I was putting the paper on and I think it's just simply because it has the fold there. So I put the lace on, on the inside, but no decorating or anything has been done other than the cover. Um, so yeah, um, when we come back though, um, from our, you know, in our next video, we're going to do, decorate ephemera that goes with it. So, <clears throat> that is the plan on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Never fails. Every time I get on camera, I get a frog in my throat. Ziggy, set a timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes, starting now. Okay. So, we will get started. And she, um... Do I want to fold it up? She just kind of made folds in her pockets. <clears throat> to start off with and did them all kind of in different different directions and whatnot at uh, different sizes so that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna um, you know make too many because it might take me forever to um might take me forever to decorate, so I don't think I got that exactly straight, but <clears throat> it'll be all right. Then the next thing she did was glue them. I gotta grab my glue stick real quick.
hope you guys are doing well today. I think I said that already. I found myself saying that a few times throughout the video, but I still hope you guys are doing well. Um, I haven't felt the greatest today myself. Um, I'm having some stomach issues. Um, things that might be down to my gastroparesis, which is caused from the diabetes. I don't know, Judy, if you watch this, I thought about putting one of these in your journal because it's blue, so I know you're not a fan of orange too much, but, or would you prefer a book page one? Or maybe this one because it has more blue in it. I don't know. <clears throat> Just let me know. Otherwise, I'm liable to surprise you on that one. Because I would kind of like to make one. Um, here, girl. Let me... Okay, and I'm using a piece of this Polish uh, paper that um, Miss Bernice sent as well. She did let me know that it is um, Polish. <clears throat> I mean, I thought I had recognized the text before, but wasn't 100% sure on that. Also using pieces of the dictionary page. Now she is doing these as like little wraparound pockets. And I am going to trim off the top there just a little bit. <clears throat> and I forgot my little my circle uh, punch <coughs> okay, now she's doing hers with the reinforcement at the top that's not straight or in the middle but let me See if nah, that's still not in the middle. It's fine. There. Let me get this out of my way. May not get any of them decorated, but that's okay. So it'll um, wrap around, and then it'll be a pocket on either side. Or I could just glue it down here and here and have just a sturdy pocket. So I could have a you know, pocket here and then one going behind it if I glue it on three sides. So, <clears throat> either way, there. Okay, now, she also did this one where she folded it this way, so this will be a tuck spot, and then the back piece will be a pocket. Um, like some printed uh, yeah printed off um, like documents and stuff that she had 
uh, that were scanned originally. But I, like I said, I didn't have any of that. So, see, she did some shorter. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want to. I didn't cut that in a straight line. did some long pockets too or you know side tucks get in there well that's not wanting to cut through all right let me get my other hole punch or circle punch mm. straight at all. I 
coming in. Glue a piece down in the back on that one just to make it a little sturdier on that side. So this is going to tuck around or go around a pocket tube bit. It's going to have its <clears throat> spot in a different different area. Okay. Now this one, I think I just want to, these two long sides, I think I'm just going to glue them together. So it's just one side tuck pocket. Rather than tucking around. That way they are um, sturdier. There, I kind of want to cover that part, that little part up there. Maybe some book page. Maybe turn it around. see him very good. <clears throat> mm. These little birdies that I got right here came from Kian. I cut out all the blue ones. Um, I don't know if she's going to put those in her shop or not. I wrote a uh, from our group had um asked her to make a kit uh, for you know with birds and I was just interested in the actual birds themselves so Kyung sent them to me um let's see oh that's kind of cute maybe we'll just do that I think this is a sticker. I don't, not 100% sure. Nope, maybe not. Mm. 
might just be on um, cardstock. Just for a bit of contrast. Staying on very well. Trying to think if there's anything interesting that's been going on. Um, not really, as far as I know. I see Kyung is back to making videos, so I'm hoping that she is feeling much better after her surgery. After her tooth surgery she had those are pretty but maybe Let's see what else do I have by way of mushrooms in here do I want to do the blue one now no new no. oops new no. oh I do like the um Kind of drawn looking mushrooms. What about these guys? Hmm. It's okay, but not quite what I wanted. No. No. Oh, that one's cute. Maybe we'll put that one on there. Okay. Since that one's going to tuck on both sides of a page. Alright, so I got one done. leave those there for right this minute. I don't, really, I don't know. Not really enough of a contrast on that one. I do like the blue mushroom, but I don't know. No. Nope. No. Nope. I don't like it on there. I do like it on that one. Okay. <clears throat> I think maybe a label on this one as well. Uh, or a ticket. That works. That'll work. Different colored bird, maybe. No, he kind of blends in a little too much, I think. Not too big. Too big. 
There's this little blue guy. Could technically put him right there on the flower, but I don't, I don't think there's enough contrast on him either. Do I have a small one in that size? Yes. I do. Don't like the colors with that one. Okay. Oh. There's a cute little guy. I could put him right there on that little branch. Horticulture. Well, it does have, you know, talk about flowers there. Might put it on that one instead. And. Oops. Uh, dropped my glue stick. About just some Timmy words. So we got that one. So we got three. I do want to put that one down. Okay, I got a feeling that we're going to need a butterfly. A butterfly, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or do I want a bird? Uh -huh. I got this little guy. Same one, just a little smaller. I think I want to do that, and then I'll do a butterfly on the other side, maybe. This is on, like, got a vellum piece underneath it. Do I want to do that? Yeah, why not? Oh, it's, I forgot that it actually has three layers. Whee! So 
It was kind of a 3D butterfly. There, do I want a word? Uh, yes. Right here. I got that one, so how many we got so far? One, two, three, four pockets. So now we're on to the book page. Pocket, yeah, gotta do it. Gotta do it. Yep. That's not what I meant by number. And number six. Why not? There is actually six mushrooms in this picture because there's a little baby one down at the bottom. So that works out just fine. Oops. Except for the fact that I wasn't watching where I was gluing. Nope. Oh, dogs are barking because my mom's phone is ringing. Yeah. They bark at the phone. Okay. I'm going to put this little guy on. This one I think I'm going to glue down too, so it's just, you know, that, and then I can glue it into the U-shape uh, in the back and then have two pockets rather than wrapping around on that one. And this one too, simply because um, the paper is a little bit thinner. I mean, not super thin, but a little bit thinner than I'd like for a wraparound pocket. So, that is that. Okay. I think we'll do a blue label. And maybe a flower on that one. Excuse me. I think I might. Okay. Of course, I can ink around these later or um, further embellish them. Judy, I think that one is the one that's going into your journal. Because it's got the blue on it. So I may have to bling it up. Um, I have some. A little piece of blue bling here left. Um, from where I put the other. 
going on. That's Pikachu barking like that. She is our instigator. She gets the other ones riled up. But she's also the puppy of the family too, so. Wee. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now I can use that um, blue mushroom that I like. Oh, and that one. Think a black sticker on that one. Okay. Oops. And just for giggles, I think we're going to do a tiny bit of liquid pearls. So that one will definitely have to dry. Don't know if you can really see that. There, that's a little better. You can kind of see them now. Put that off to the side. I got one more. Decorate the front and then the back. Now, um, because I have a larger area back here, actually, I want to fold this up so that that part won't be visible on the back. So it'll look like that. But anyway, since we got a larger section on the back. Whoop. Nope. That's a little too big. Alright. Where? Okay. Yeah, that looks good. I think I'll use that. I mean, it's kind of quirky, but um, I didn't figure I'd be able to use it pretty much anywhere else. So, might as well use it. Ziggy, how much time is left? 
You have one minute and thirty seconds left on your forty minute time. Look at that. We made it in one, with one minute to spare. Ziggy, turn off the timer. Forty minute timer cancelled. All right, guys. So let's recap on which what we have made here. What I do with my lid? Oh, there it is. Right there. So we've got this one that will wrap around a page. And we have got this one. And I just stuck my thumb all in those stickles. Or not stickles, but... Um, in the uh, liquid pearls. So alright, we'll just... Use it like a paint. All good. So then it just gives kind of a sheen at the bottom. So it just looks like we meant to do that. It's all good. Okay, this one that will go into Judy's journal. I'll set that off to the other side. Uh, another mushroom, you know, like little wrap around pocket with a bird. Uh, this little wrap around pocket with a bird and butterfly. Two side tuck pockets with a bird and a mushroom. And this little uh, wrap around pocket with a rabbit and mushroom, and then little mushrooms on the back. Alright, uh, so that is it for me, guys. In the next video, we will start making ephemera for Judy's journal. And, um, I haven't decided whether I'll do the lace on the uh, pages on camera or if I'll do the lace off camera and then just do the decorating of ephemera before we decorate the actual journal. I'm not sure yet on that. I'll have to think about it. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys back here again really soon. Bye.